um, the Central Bank of Nigeria Monetary Policy Committee um, will not be holding its uh, MPC meeting um, mm -hmm. for the year, the last one at that, for the year 2023. This is the second time we're seeing the MPC meeting being postponed. postponed. What's your reaction to this and what signal, that's the big question, what signal is this sending to um, 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 foreign investors? What comes to my mind when I saw this, I was frightened. Hmm. One, it shows that the current economic managers are still not able to grasp what is actually going on. Because everybody has expected hmm. at least last one for the year to hold. Hmm. And coming to see that it has been postponed and with no specific no reason, reason, reason given yeah. gives a wrong signal to the international community. Not even that way. Even in local businessmen. Because people have been looking for to see okay, inflation figures were just how how is the CBN going to look at it and all that, you know. So there were a lot of expectations from analysts, from business people, from even investors, you know, to see how what are the plans this government has in terms of managing its economy because we are in a real, real serious straight. Yeah. You know, so for me I think that's they would have given a cogent reason. Because the issue is not, okay, yes, you cannot hold this meeting, but give Nigerians and the international community a reason. It might not be too, a very good reason, but just give me a reason why this meeting cannot Let hold. it be some sense of clarity and exactly. yes. yes. When you leave things, this kind of uncertainty, in the dark, in the dark then you give room for a lot of speculation, yes. for a lot of... Um, negative interpretation and, and that. perception so, yeah perception. talking about that talking about that and then it, it's it's not far-fetched from the fact why i keep asking this question mm -hmm. either to you or to any other analyst that come on this show does the yamika do so let economic management <laughs> team at the apex bank as what it takes to drive the central bank of nigeria that's one question and okay. secondly <laughs> in the course of the past week we, we also heard the, 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 the current CBN governor come out to say that he did not promise Nigerians that he is going to perform magic in bringing about some sense of solution to the economic quagmire we find ourselves at this current point in time. That's one. Okay. Then thirdly, <laughs> thirdly, when the president um, um, appointed um, um, Yamika Adosu mm -hmm. and all the economic management team into the APS Bank, it was received with wide applause. Of course. And now, with what we're seeing now, is this not a disappointment that this current administration could not hold the highest meeting at the echelon of the APS Bank? Your thoughts on this? Yes, I don't know where to start from for this year, for this year three questions, but let me start from having the, whether he's having the capacity or not. Yes, for capacity, I would say he has the capacity, he has the pedigree. Of course, I mean, I'm putting on this uh, regalia today. He is also from this our community, and we believe that um, trading level of um, exposure and what he has done before, he has the capacity to run this economy. What was the, the second question? So, my prior question was talking about <laughs> the sixth. I, I, I just got okay. to, to be the first person, but this time around, I'm bringing out a statement being made by the CBN governor okay. saying that he did not promise Nigeria okay. that he's going to perform magic in turning around the economic quagmire we find ourselves. Good. We did not say he's a magician. You are an economist, a stockbroker, and of course, you have that experience. What we are saying, we know that economic issue cannot be done overnight. Yes. We know that. But we want to see a blueprint. We want to see what are the strategies, what are the things we need to do now. Because Nigerians, we are ready to bear some of this burden. As as long as I also have these high expectations because being the first MPC meeting led by this current administration yes. at the APS Bank, um, I, I, I was looking forward yes. to so much eagerness if and I expectations. Was the some of the things we need to do some of the cars, projections you know, and the likes, yes. yes. We are not saying one swoop we're going to get it right. Definitely. We know that. But we want to see measures in place. And the average Nigerian is ready to support this policy as long as we have been assured of everything in the short to mid term. Yeah, to maybe the long term, you know, and all that. Yes, we agree. We are, because we don't have a choice. The economy cannot fail. 
we need to do all it takes to ensure that this economy continues in the path of growth. So it's of failing, recovery. Charles. It's it is failing. failing. And that's why it is so disappointing to see that at this time in our development, mm. then you are postponing your MPC meeting. You are telling us you are not a magician. When you have been appointed, you will have told the president that you are not a magician mm. and they should not expect anything from you. Again, that for me, that is a defeatist tendency. Mm. And the CBN governor should withdraw that statement. Mm. He should be telling us that Nigerians will all need to work together to see how we can improve this economy in terms of our ethics, in terms of our production, in terms of inflation. These are key issues every economic manager needs to begin to think about. We should not be bothered about exchange rates. Mm. We should be bothered more about interest rates mm. because that's what affects our SMEs and all that. Yes. Sorry, the, for the exchange rate is also very key. But if we're able to fix our production, I'm, I'm assuring you, we want to fix the effects of rates. Well, yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I'm still going to come to my third question, okay. but then again, I want to touch on one report I read over the weekend. Okay. And it's coming from an analyst. I don't want to mention his name. Of course. From one of those investment banking firms. Okay. And it is said something that the CBN governor has run out of ideas to fix Nigeria's economic issues. Mm. Inflation skyrocketing. And as it stands now, many Nigerians can no longer afford a free square meal. The AFS has come out to say that the prices of food commodities will surge in the 2024 season. With all of this put in the table, where is Nigeria economic e economy heading to? For now, we're very down. And we should not be... Yes, I don't expect the CBN governor to have all the answers. He has a team. And... There are other Nigerians too. People are ready to give advice. You know, just like you have a very sick patient that is critical in the ICU unit, the nurses will come back and when there is improvement, then they stabilize the patient. Mm. This is what we expect. But we don't have any stabil stabilization mechanism. Yes, that for him now, he should not be saying, I'm not a magician. And for those of us who are saying he has run out of ideas, Please, also bring your own idea, because in a really time where we leave it for the CBN governor, no, other experts will come. Of course, if you have experience in other clients all over the world, and you have done something with them, and it's working, why don't you begin to advise the government, whether they listen to you or not, but keep mentioning it, and at the end of the day, we might see some improvement. So that the decks or the box is stops on the CBN of governor, course. he should begin to drive this process. There's nothing wrong. For him to call for expert mm. and see, please come and advise us and what and what to do concerning this economy. Nigerians are willing to cooperate with him and give him necessary advice. Yes, yes, Charles. If you ask me, I'm not supposed to give my own two cents on this. I'm not supposed to give okay. my own opinion on this. I'm a journalist, but I have to say here that um, the CBN governor led um, the CBN um, economic management and led by Kadosu <laughs> should man up and face the economic situation exactly. staring at him in the face exactly. because as far as i'm concerned this young man or whatever his age is is trying yes. to deviate from oh. the current situation we're having in the country and we cannot accept that of course we not. have to look at it end long exactly and that will be we shine away from it will not solve any problem all right then let's leave it at that let's move on to other story now so rice consumption in the country um, has been projected to experience a steady rise um, in, uh, uh, and also other commodities in the market has been projected to record a 37% increase in the coming year. Charles, what's your reaction to this? A lot of rice consumption. Mm. Rice has been a staple food for, for, for the average Nigerian. For the average Nigerian. Yeah. So the rich of the average Nigerian, what the government needs to do? Increase production. We have states in the country mm. that can produce this rice. We have the farmers. So government create that enabling environment. It is not rocket science. We have research institutes of agriculture all over the place. Indeed, we don't even focus. There is. I just remember the rice pyramid that was uh, uh, launched, yeah, that was run by the immediate past administration. Yes. Still in power, yeah. but yet we're not seeing that continuity in terms of reforms, in terms of government policies. Yes, I will tell you, blessed, look at the issues here. Those rice pyramid or whatever they were talking about, they were not there. That is the reality. I stand to be correct. So we're food. We're food. And that's why I'm saying 
for you to make any meaningful progress. The first thing, the issue is for us to improve our rice production. I think we have an environment yeah. where these people can produce and it becomes it become cheaper compared to the reported rice. As we speak, rice is still coming to the country. Of course, I'm, I'm sure it's one of those um, 42 items that were on ban. Yes. You know, and yes. in terms of forest and all that. So, yes, we agreed for temporary measures, but we are saying, what is, that, what is our capacity mm -hmm. in terms of rice production? Mm -hmm.